If I chose a random person on the street and asked them if perfection was attainable, I am willing to bet that they would say no. And I'm fairly confident that any one of you would answer similarly. And that is expected. In a culture that embraces individualism and humanity and freedom, we are taught that no one is perfect. But today, at the end of a little less than four minutes, I'll have shown you that anyone is perfect. At the end of those four minutes, I'll have shown you that perfection is attainable. Because what is perfection? Is it possible to be human and perfect? After all, to err is human. Perfection is a state. When an individual is satisfied with herself, yet willing to grow as a person, she has achieved a state of perfection. And notice, this definition of perfection does not call for change, but introspection. The most perfect thing we could see in our lives is nature and nature constantly grows and changes, but not to please others. If we strive to be perfect by others' standards, then of course we could never be perfect. Everyone has a different idea of what the ideal person is, and some criteria contradict others. So you truly cannot please everyone. But everyone has a sense of morality, an intuition that tells them what is right and what is wrong. For as long as we exercise moral responsibility, we are competent judges of the perfection suited to our own unique character. This is not to say that perfection is easy. Personally, I find having satisfaction with myself is the hardest part to achieve, but it is possible. Several people have achieved this perfection, and you may know some of them. Think, satisfied with their individual identity, forgiving of their human faults, willing to grow and improve. Nature herself acts independently, and these flaws, or mutations as we call them, simply add to her perfection and beauty, or fade away quickly, leading to captivating creations, like thriving forests, teeming seascapes, creative humans. We are the creation of a perfect system, and are perfect in our own right. In the words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, absolve you to yourself, and you shall have the suffrage of the world. In other words, free yourself from others' expectations of who you should be. Be accountable only to you and your moral intuition. Forgive yourself your human failings, and you will have the support of perfection itself. After all, who knows you better than yourself? Until a few months ago, I did not fully appreciate this. Before then, I had always judged myself by other standards, not realizing I was responsible enough to judge myself by my own. Over time, I began, as Emerson said, to absolve me to myself, to hold me accountable to my own judgment. But even then, I did not accept my flaws or my mistakes. And I realized mistakes are natural. They do not bar me from perfection. For as long as I strive to be morally conscious and stayed willing to grow and improve, I could be human. I could be an individual. I could be perfect. I found that I had indeed the suffrage of the world, and I came to my own realization. Perfection is beauty. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Perfection is thus in the eye of the beholder. Be then the beholder of yourself, and perfection is attainable. Thank you.